All right, we got the world championship. We're ready with Brett Musburger. Come on, Brett. All right, Hot Rod, thank you very much. With me, the commissioner of the NBA, Larry O'Brien, a very happy owner of the Lakers, the coaches, a couple of players. Larry, why don't you make the presentation to Jerry? I'm, I'm ready to make it. First of all, I think we all want to send our good wishes and salute the captain of the Lakers out there in Los Angeles, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He was named uh, the player of the decade by the basketball writers, and deservedly so. We miss him here tonight. And in his name, along with the rest of the team, we're going to make a little presentation. Norm, Jamal, Pat, Coach Paul Weston, and rookie Jerry Buss. <laughs> We've just finished the greatest season in the history of the NBA, record-breaking, and I think we have just completed one of the greatest series in the history of the NBA, the World Championship Series tonight, and we have a new world champion. And I want to present the world trophy to the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers, the new world champions of basketball, and I'm proud to do it. And here you go, Jerry Buss, it's yours. And it's permanent. You keep it. I've, I've never had a group of men like this team do so much, minute by minute, week by week, month by month. I think we played 108 games, and they've given everything they had, and this is the end result. Thank you, guys. Right. Coach Westhead. Everybody put your hand on. Paul, come here. It was indeed a season for rookies. Jerry, Magic, and you. What are your feelings right now, Coach Westhead? Well, Brent, I'm just so excited for our players. It's a long way back in Palm Springs when Jack McKinney got us all going, and we just stuck together, and uh, it's just teamwork that got us here, and uh, we wanted to win it for the big fellow, and uh, we sure went out and played hard for him. How gracious of you to mention Jack McKinney at this moment. A couple of the players in here. Norm Nixon, your thoughts right now. Well, uh, I tell you, it really hadn't hit me yet. Uh, I'm sitting here, and it's over, and we have the trophy, and we just walked up and did it. Oh, and uh, I'm going back and party in L.A. now. Jamal Wilkes, you're familiar with championships. Golden State, you win one. UCLA, three. How does this one compare? Oh, this is great. You know, I like to say to our captain, Kareem, you know, that he was with us all the way. We knew it before the game. It's his trophy. I like to say hello to mom and pops and my family. <laughs> Pat Riley, on behalf of broadcasters, that's how you started the yes, season. Man. Your reaction. This is it. Brent, this is it. And Kareem, Cheryl, Chris, we'll be out. The party's starting here, but it's going to end in L.A. <laughs> All right, let's go inside the Laker locker room right now, and here's Rick Barry. And here's the man of the hour, Magic Johnson. Magic, uh, what do you have that makes you perform like this in these championship games? Well, I don't know. It's just I love to win, and uh, I guess that's the thing. I go in thinking we can win any game that I play. Hey, uh, Mark. Despite, you know, Kareem went in, and we want to say, hey, we did it for you, big fella, because you got us here. And, uh, don't, we, don't, we don't want to take nothing away from him. Yeah. A lot of people didn't, really weren't sure whether or not you were going to be making in this league and making it big. You certainly made a believer out of me, for sure. I haven't seen you play that much. You were absolutely fantastic. I've got some good news for you. I don't know if you know it, but the National Magazine has named you the MVP for this series. Oh, well, thank you. You know, uh, I just tried to do my best and help the team win, and, and it's, it's just great. You know, it, the NBA the whole season was great, and uh, it's been beautiful. I think that's really a capper to it with Sport Magazine naming you the MVP. Do you have some few words to say to the big fella back in L.A.? Yeah, big fella, we love you. We did it for you, and uh, we want you to get up and dance a little bit tonight. I know that ankle looks fun, but get up for us. <laughs> one final question I have to ask. You came in here, you're late. your teammates are rather subdued. This is probably one of the quietest locker rooms for a championship that I've seen. Because it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's, it's unreal. Right now, we're just, you know, thinking about it. it, it it's happened so fast. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I don't know how much you realize this, but I was in the league a long time before I ever made it, and there's a lot of ball players around who haven't made it this, this far in a long career. This is your first year, and you're here. How many more of these would you like to get under your belt? About 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. the best of luck to you. You're Thanks absolutely so. fantastic. Thank Let's you. go back to Brett Musburger. Hi, Mom, All right, Rick, thank you so much. Magic Johnson had some words to say about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, like get up and dance a little bit tonight, big fella. I imagine that anchor feels a lot better. Well, I know the team dedicated this victory to him. He's the one that led him all the way through. He's the big fella. Without him, I really had serious doubts whether we could do it. But I just didn't realize the determination and the dedication they had to the big fella. They told him 
they're going to win it for him and bring it back to him, and I, uh, <laughs> they did it. I might add, Jerry Bush, that you did a lot for the Lakers, too. Coming in this year and picking up the players that they needed, congratulations on this world championship. You and all the Lakers certainly deserved it. Well, we felt like a team right from the very beginning, Brent. Uh, back in Palm Springs, when we went through training. There's a lot of hours, a lot of heartaches that went into this whole thing, and all I can say is I'm just happy to right. be part of this team. All right. Speaking of being part of a team, it was a pleasure again to be a part of the CBS team this year that brought you the NBA on CBS. We started on that Friday night in San Diego. It was Abdul Jabbar with that sky hook, magic jumping into his arms, a signal of things to come. Then it was the defending world champion, Seattle Supersonics. They got into a tough seven game playoff. And how about Daryl Dawkins when he shattered a couple of glass backboards? It was moment after moment like that on CBS this year throughout the season as the NBA indeed turned in one of its greatest years ever. Capped off tonight by the Los Angeles Lakers, who after years of disappointment finally came down and beat Billy Cunningham and the Philadelphia 76ers in seven tough games. But let's not forget the effort that was turned in by the doctor, Julius Irving, throughout this series was magnificent in defeat as he was a few years ago against the Portland Trail Blazers. But there was simply too much magic on the West Coast. The effervescent rookie from Michigan State, who just three years ago won a high school state championship, a year ago an NCAA championship, and tonight capped it all off with an NBA world title in Philadelphia, leading the Lakers to a six-game victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. Series winds up 4-2. And for everybody at CBS who was a part of this glorious season, we thank you for being along with us. For Rick Barry, Bill Russell, Hot Rod Huntley, and also the men in the truck, led by the executive producer Chuck Milton, and of course our directors, Tony Verna, Sandy Grossman, and our producers, Bob Stenner and Perry Smith, they did it all, but the man of the hour, Magic Johnson, 42 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists, and the Lakers have won the World Championship. I'm Brett Musburger, saying so long from Philadelphia. We'll see you next season.